These are vertical angles. Now, because they're vertical angles, I know that they're equal in measure. So what I'm able to set up is an equation that shows me that 62 is equal to 11x plus 7. Now I just have to solve a two-step equation. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7 on both sides. So that's going to give me 55 equals 11x. I want that x by itself, so I'm going to divide by 11 on both sides, and that's going to give me x is equal to 5. And that answers my question. So I'm dealing with angle QRS. So QRS is right here. I'm going to label it in my picture so it's a little clear to me what I'm dealing with. And angle TRV. So TRV. All right. So once I label these, I realize that what I'm given is vertical angles, right? They're angles that are opposite of each other formed by two intersecting lines. I'm given expressions that represent each of those angles. And then I'm asked to find one of them, right? And actually, if I find one, I found the other because they're equal, right? So now I start to set up my equation. If I know that these two angles are equal to each other, then that means I could set up, set their expressions equal to each other to make an equation. So I know that 5x plus 10 is equivalent to 10x minus 50. All right, so now when you're solving an equation that has variables on both sides, we have to use inverse operations to get it to one side. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. And that's going to give me 10 is equal to 5x minus 50. All right, now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to add 50 to both sides. I'm going to bring my work up here. Actually, let me just erase this. 60 equals 5x, so I have a one-step equation left to solve. I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides, and that's going to give me x equals 12. So I found the value of x, but in this particular problem, that doesn't mean I'm done because this problem didn't ask me for x. This problem asked me to find the measure of this angle right here. So that angle is represented by 10x minus 50. So now that I know the value of x, now I can replace x with 12 and then evaluate this expression. So 12 times 10 is 120. 120 minus 50 is 70. So that means that the measure of the angle that I was asked to find is 70 degrees. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.